everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a layout process video using Life's A Hoot with some snow pictures. Okay, so let's get started. I have one piece of uh, mix-in paper that's this blue paper that looks like it has snow on it, and then everything else is from Life's A Hoot. And I'm going to use pattern number eight from Make It From Your Heart, volume five. And I'll have an image of this pattern um, at the end of this video because uh, this pattern book has uh, retired, okay? So I'm going to use photos from A Day of Snowshoeing. And instead of doing two four by six photos, according to the pattern, I've um, printed all of them up at three by four so I can fit more pictures on my layout. Okay, so this layout on the right side calls for a circle. And I've used my Martha Stewart circle cutter, and this is a really old product, so I'm not even sure if they're still available, but you can use a plate to draw a circle and then hand cut it. You could cut it out on your Cricut. Um, there's lots of options, okay? So let's get started cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the cutting portion um, for this pattern in the video. Um, just so you can see how my process is. So this first paper, I wanted to use these stickers. They're so cool from Life's a Hoot. Um, they have gold foiling on them and they're the same color as this background paper here, uh, this pattern paper. So um, those are gonna be my stickers. So those are the first two pieces. And then I'm going to cut the other ones at two inches. One is two by 12 and the other is two by 11, okay? And then that one is going to be dovetailed, all right? So I'm looking at the design to see what I want left remaining, and then I'll cut away this bottom portion. So to dovetail, you just cut vertically in the center, so that was at one inch, and then you take each corner to meet that snip. Uh, be careful not to uh, make your center snip too deep because the deeper you cut, the more angled your dovetail is, okay? So for this next one, I'm gonna bring in this paper and um, it has little rectangles uh, on the pattern. So there is kind of a direction to it. So I want my rectangles to go horizontally. So the first piece, I'm gonna cut it two inches by 10 and a half. And that piece will be dovetailed on both ends. And then I'm gonna leave this in the video. I, I kind of goofed up here, okay? So I'm looking at my pattern paper and um, it's supposed to be cut at two and a half by six and a half. So I'm cutting that down. And then I realized that my little rectangles were going vertically instead of horizontal. So now I'm going to bring this pattern paper back in and recut. Sometimes that happens. It's a little confusing sometimes to figure out the direction of your pattern. So, okay, now I have my little rectangles going in the right direction. I'm putting them next to each other, make sure. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and dovetail both ends of this piece. So again, just snip in the center and then take each corner to meet that snip. Okay, super easy. And then I'll bring in this piece of sapphire paper and trim that. It's gonna be PC, uh, piece C, <laughs> and I'm gonna cut that at two and a half by seven and a half. And that'll be on the left side of the layout. And then the last pattern, I'm looking at the direction of the pattern and seeing how I want it to sit. And I like that direction. So I'm gonna cut one for the left side of the layout at four and a half by five. And then the right side, it's just going to be a mat for my photo. I wasn't sure if I was gonna actually use it but in the end, I decided to go ahead and cut it and see what it looked like. Okay, so we'll bring this piece back in and we'll cut that down to four and a quarter by six and a half. Okay. 
All right, so now we have all of our components cut. I'm going to use a base of the light side of Seabrook. And I tried Glacier, which is one of the coordinating cardstock colors, but it seemed to be a little bit too dark for the look that I was going for. And my pictures are a little bit washed out. When you're taking pictures while it's snowing, you get that blue cast. So I decided to go with a lighter color and I'm going to do some treatments to my background piece. So I want them to pop. So I'm going with the light side of sea foam. I mean, Seabrook. Sea foam is an older color. <laughs> um, this one is Seabrook. And I'm just laying everything out just to get a feel for how everything looks. And yes, I do. I will realize later on that um, in a couple minutes that uh, the blue sapphire piece is in the wrong spot. I'll swap them out in a second. Right here. Like something's wrong here. This piece is too short. <laughs> so I'm checking with the pattern and I realized I had laid them out in the wrong places. Okay, that's better. It's always good to lay things out before you start adhering. Then I felt like this um, picture of the trees was getting washed out, so I'm swapping those around too. And then later on, I'm going to put the tree picture at the top and the other picture down below. I'll swap those places as well. Okay, so I'm going to cut mats because my pictures are, are kind of washing out and um, I want them to pop more. So I'm going to cut white daisy mats. So I'm just, I want a really tiny border. So I'm just adding an eighth of an inch. So I have that tiny bit of white around the edges of my photos. And then I felt like they still weren't popping. So I went ahead and cut some sapphire cardstock. This is the light side of sapphire. And I, I added an extra eighth of an inch to those mats. Okay. I think that works. Okay, so I'm going to use some of the embellishments from Life's A Hoot. I have this round piece that says fun, and then I'm going to use some of the white acrylic alphabet letters for my title. So I've pulled letters to spell out snow much, and then that uh, Life's A Hoot embellishment says fun. So snow much fun. Okay, and then I want it to back that fun embellishment with something so it would pop a little bit better. So I uh, just used one of my punches for, it's a one and a quarter inch circle to punch some holographic paper in Dreamy. And then I cut a whole bunch of snowflakes using the snowflake thin cuts. I pulled scraps of all different colors of blues and that's Harbor and uh, some more holographic paper. And I just went to town and, and die cut a whole bunch of snowflakes. So whatever I don't use on this layout, I can use on future layouts because we spent the whole day up in Breck. So we have lots of pictures, so I'll be scrapbooking more. Okay, so I, I want my snowflakes to kind of just uh, be flying around my uh, photo elements. Um, it snowed all day while we were there, these big giant fluffy snowflakes. And it, if you're bundled up right, you're not cold. And once you get moving, um, I wasn't cold at all that day, even though um, I did have a, a, a gator covering my face so that because um, the snow, when the wind blows, it feels like sand on your face. So once you have the right gear, it's fine. It's fun to be outside. Okay, so I'm just kind of laying out my snowflakes and I want a visual triangle. So I'm going from the upper left down to the middle to the upper right for my visual triangle. Okay, so I'm going to remove everything from my cardstock and I'm going to do some treatments to it. So the first thing, I'm going to use some of this shimmer spray. I'm using a Balmy Night color. It kind of looks like harbor and it's shimmery. So I'm just spritzing some in the upper left and in the lower right corner. So if you push the spritzer down all the way, you get that fine mist. And then if you go part of the way, you get uh, droplets, okay? 
Then I'm going to use some gloss spray in white and I'm taking the sprayer out of the bottle and just tapping out droplets around and over the areas where I had spritzed the shimmer spray. Okay, so we'll get that out of the way and set it aside to dry and we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. And this time I'm going to do it in the lower left corner and the upper right. And just have to take a leap of faith and kind of aim for where you want your treatment to be. And it always turns out looking good. So tapping out some gloss spray, having a little technical difficulties there. <laughs> we'll get it to work. Okay, so now I've laid everything back out on my layouts and uh, I'm bringing in these stickers from Life's a Hoot. So according to the pattern, a half inch strip at the top. So I'm just gonna lay those down. They're so pretty with that gold foil treatment. Okay, and then off camera, I'm going to adhere all of my pattern pieces, okay? All right, so I have matted my photos and added foam tape to the back of each of these. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick those down according to the panel. So this one, it, um, the easiest way to do it is to start with the right photo. The pattern says to move it in one and a half inches and then up by two and a half inches and then You'll have something to work with to add that second picture. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put down the picture on the right side. So that one is two and a quarter inches up. I'm going to use my T-square to figure out where that goes. And I'll set that down. Okay. All right, now I'm going to do some stamping. So my stamp set, it's an older retired set called Classic Flourishes. And it has these flourish images and then um, some smaller stamps and it kind of looks like snow flurries. So I'm going to stamp tone on tone some of these flourishes just to kind of keep the movement going and I'm trying to decide which direction I want them to go. So I'm holding up the stamps to see first. So go ahead and put this one down. It's just a subtle extra touch to kind of give the impression of blowing snow and flying snowflakes. So I'm going to wipe off some ink from the very bottom so that I can overlap over that blue circle. Put that one down. And then I'm going to use some of these smaller uh, stamps to kind of random stamp some of them all around the layout. And since it's tone on tone, it's very subtle. Um, it just adds a nice little extra touch. Okay, so for this last flourish, still trying to figure out which direction I want it to go. And it's gonna overlap that lighter colored pattern paper. So I put some masking tape down there so that I don't get ink on it. And we'll stamp that down. And we'll add a couple more of the little Snowflake stamps all around. Okay, now we have our background all done and we can start adding our title. Okay, so I'm gonna lay out this, uh, my title that says Snow Much Fun. And all of those elements get added with glue dots. Okay, so I'll do that off camera. 
takes a while, but well worth it. Just kind of fussing with them to see how I like the way they're laid out. And then we'll start gluing everything down. So I'll skip ahead in a second. Okay, so we have our title down. And then I'm going to add the snowflakes again. But first, I'm going to add a little heart. These are some of the uh, black paperboard hearts. I'm just going to add one underneath the fun sentiment. Just It, it was kind of disappearing a little bit, so I want to draw attention to it. So I think adding that little heart will uh, draw attention, and then you'll be able to read the whole title. Okay. I'm just going to lay my snowflakes out. And then off camera, I'll glue all of those down with some wet glue. Just kind of trying things out first to make sure before I adhere everything down. I think it looks good there. Okay. So we'll get those glued down. And then we'll start working on the right page. So I have journaled uh, above my circle directly to my layout. And it just says Breckenridge and the date that we were there a couple weeks ago. And then I'll lay all my snowflakes out and I'll glue them down off, off camera. Get them laid out again. Okay, I think I like that. All right, so now I have everything glued down and then I'm going to add my journaling. So I did uh, journaling strips off camera. This is kind of a shortcut instead of journaling directly onto your layout, especially when you have everything pretty much completed. This way, if you make a mistake, you can fix it and cut out a new journaling strip. So I'm just kind of laying all the strips out, see if it, it reads okay. And then I'll glue all of them down. Okay. We have all of our journaling done. And I'll have a whole bunch of close-up shots at the end. I think that's looking good. We're going to call it done. So I will make a list of all the supplies that I use to create this layout with links in the description below. And here's a photo of that pattern. So if you freeze frame it, you can get all the dimensions. Okay, and this is my finished layout. So you can use these Life's a Hoot papers for lots of different subjects. I think they work great with snow pictures. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you did that subscribe button, and then you'll be able to find all of my videos. I have quite a few in the library. I publish twice a week, and I'm going to try to start doing one layout a week and one card video a week. Thanks for watching!